I was uh, showing my niece the old Super Mario Bros. movie uh, the other day, and there's a scene near the end when they start merging the Dino Manhattan, you know, dimension with the regular New York world dimension, and you see the Twin Towers disappear for like a little bit, and I'm like, oh shit, this movie predicted 9-11, what the fuck, maybe George Bush saw this movie and was like, hey, I can do that. Speaking of Bush, you remember when uh, Hurricane Katrina happened and Mike Myers and Kanye West were there asking the world for donations and Kanye was just like, George Bush doesn't care about black people. (laughs) Oh boy, was that awkward. It was so classic, you know. And also untrue, uh, George Bush doesn't care about anyone, you know. All he cares about is getting revenge on whoever tried to kill his daddy. And also get revenge on pretzels because pretzels will fucking kill you. My loneliness is killing me, and I, I must confess, I still believe, still believe, when I'm not with you, I lose my mind, give me a sign, hit me baby one more time. I always love the idea of songs having hidden shit in them, right, or subliminal type shit put backwards or different frequencies. I know the Beatles would do stuff like that. And I remember uh, young as a younger kid, people would say that like Britney Spears songs had that backward shit, like uh, something along the lines of in uh, in fucking Hit Me Baby One More Time, you would hear like, sleep with me, I'm not too young. You know, it would sound backwards though. And man, that was kind of easy for me to believe, you know, because the music industry pretty much manufactured Britney Spears to be a sex symbol from the beginning, praying back then on the guys that really liked The look of young schoolgirls back when it was niche and a bit strange to be, you know, into that. And now that shit's cool. It's cool to be into young women that dress like (laughs) schoolgirls. What a turn of events. Speaking of Britney, though, I love her fucking music, man. I'm all about pop music. So, yeah, when I saw all these people, like, kind of recently saying that she was a hostage by her father and her lawyer with her conservatorship and, yeah... I was even I was like caught up in that free Britney movement. I was like, yeah, come on, let her be. She's an adult, you know, cool. And yeah, the whole idea that Britney Spears at this point, like isn't a person, but a brand, like the brand that lets her father who is control, who is in control, pay for the lawyers and all the sponsorships and licensing and the shows and Las Vegas residencies. And they pay those employees, pay those employees. So it's just this big industry, you know. And the people were like, no, free Britney, it's her life, she should have control. And the court, you know, took its time, it was like, okay, now she's free, go ahead and do whatever you want, Britney. And I don't know if you've been keeping up with Britney lately, but she posts some weird ass shit, like, on Twitter. It'll be her just like, I don't know, talking shit about the news or how she's portrayed or about her dad or her younger sister. Which, yeah, I would talk shit about her younger sister, Jamie Lynn Spears, too, she's a fucking hoe. Uh... She'd post like weird dance videos where she's like almost naked and shit, which which I'm for because I'm a horny piece of shit. But Britney Spears, the person is kind of ruining Britney Spears, the brand. And I'm not sure if it's from mental illness that she may have from the stress of, I don't know, not having a normal person's life. Or is she doing this on purpose so that she may finally be free from the curse of stardom that robbed her of a life she wishes she might have. She's so lucky. She's a star, but she cry, cry, cries from her lonely heart, thinking that there's nothing missing in her life. Then why do these tears come at night? And I'm all for seeing, like, the downward spiral of people. (laughs) I, I see it, and I'm like, hey, my life is in ruins, too, just like them. Celebrities are just like us. Speaking of downward spirals, did you see the Walmart shooter uh, that left a note basically saying the devil made him do it and he shot a bunch of people that would, I don't know, talk shit to him or make fun of him? And that reminds me of when I uh, worked at Taco Bell and they hired this little older white woman. Her name was Tina. That She was just a walking buzzkill, right? Uh, I know she'd work part-time at the Burger King across the street, and then she worked here at Taco Bell any other time. And I was a shift manager at that point, you know, just being chill with my crew and all that. So anytime we would just be fucking around, either making our own food or throwing 
fucking gorditas or taco shells at each other, you know. She would tell on us to the higher ups and it'd just be a big wet blanket. So this uh one day we had our break or we I'm sorry, one day our break table it's in the back, right? And Tina had left her cup of uh sweet tea back there, right? And I guess she went on break, we're all working, you know, in the front and you just hear her start gasping from the back like she was choking and shit. <clears throat> and she comes to the sink in the front and she starts spitting into the sink, putting water in her mouth from there. <clears throat> And she's yelling, someone put something in my drink. I don't know why it says she has Southern asking. She's accent. She's a little fucking weirdo. Well, she opens up her cup and looks in there and there's some like, like a tahine in it. You know, that like spicy spice that us Mexicans put on fruit or in corn cups to like give it a kick, you know. And she's just tripping out, trying to blame everyone there. And everyone was telling her, yeah, we have no idea who did it. And me personally, I legitimately had no idea who did it. So I like took my crew, you know, these young kids into the office and asked each one, you know, cause I, I didn't, I didn't care, but I, I had to look like I care, you know, and each one of them was like, no, I have no idea what happened for real. <laughs> Anyways, I learned years later, this one dude I asked and he said that straight to my face. He was the one who actually did it. And I mean, I didn't care back then, you know, and even now it's pretty funny to think about, uh, cause yeah, that little white woman was like a stuck up little weirdo you know anyways i bring that up because i'm i'm very surprised no one has come into my place of employment and targeted me pretty sure i'm on a bunch of like hit lists somewhere out there like i know my mom i'm probably at the top of my mom's hit list and i, and I don't mean any specific type of person other than my mom but as far as like people that i piss off i piss off people of all ages and races and genders you know i always tried to be very inclusive in the people i piss off you know i I want equal opportunity for all my eyes are blind but i can see the snowflakes glisten on the trees the sun no longer sets me free i feel the snowflakes freezing me I hate those um, TV dinners that have every single thing in them and you have to heat them up at the same time. Like those Hungry Man dinners. Which, by the way, a side note, Hungry in Spanish is hambre and man in Spanish is hombre. So that means that a Hungry Man dinner like in Mexico would be a hambre hombre. I don't know. That's kind of funny to me. Anyways. So you have your hungry man with your, I don't know, Salisbury steak, your mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, and then brownies. And this dude, like, I'm not a chef, but there's no way mashed potatoes heat up at the same time that a fucking brownie and mac and cheese do. Like, that's just a scientific fact. Also, fucking Hot Pockets, too. They never heat up, right, in the microwave. Hot Pockets! I'm fucking Jim Gaffigan, Jim Gaffigan doing his bit. Uh, I used to always uh, say I loved my women like I love my Hot Pockets. Hot as fuck on the outside, but cold as ice on the inside. Bazing, am I right, fellas? Am I right? What's up with that? Anyways, that's it for today. Yeah, um, I would recommend go jamming out to some Britney Spears. Uh, even Christina Aguilera too. Man, she was she was pretty good back then, but gosh, she was skinny as a fucking stick, right? Like now, when she um got on the uh the voice and stuff and she had a kid man she got fucking thick where it was like it looked good on her you know like jesus it looked fucking good i i would i don't know christina oh my god i would do things to her and but with her consent i'd say i would need her consent first and uh yeah anyways also be nicer to your co-workers you know like they're people too we're all going through our own challenges and you don't know what other people going through unless i feel unless they deserve to be treated like shit you know like some people (laughs) some people just deserve to 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 fucking be knocked down don't ever think like you shouldn't knock a person down because yeah some some do deserve it to be treated like shit but if they do deserve it 
at least make sure that you can defend yourself against them in the event of emergency. Okay? There's the there's the fucking tip there. And also remember to leave your uh, hot pockets in the microwave just for a bit longer so they can kind of heat up in the center better so they're not so cold. And then also when you do take it out, let it like I know you want to bite into that thing immediately, but just give it a little bit of time cuz you don't want to burn your tongue. It <laughs> You bite into that shit too fast and oh man you, you'll be feeling it for days but yeah that's it you know so just have a great i don't know have a great day and take care bye Smooth air back, the ball, the air back, the name of